Hello world, it's Siraj, and I'm gonna list 10 people that I admire today, in no particular order. These amazing people are a mix of AI researchers, blockchain researchers, philosophers, storytellers, and artists that I personally look up to and gain inspiration from. So hopefully by sharing them with you, you too can learn from them. I'll link to all of them in the video description, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you wanna keep up with all of my educational content. Number one is Naval Ravikant. Naval is the founder of the popular AngelList website, which aims to connect startups to the resources they need, like investors and initial hires. He invested in some of the most valuable companies that exist today, early on, and has an eye for spotting potential. But he's much more than that. Naval has a way with words. I follow him on Twitter, and some of his tweet storms just make me sit back and question the foundational structures of society. He's really into blockchain technology, mostly for its potential to reorganize the fabric of humanity. And if Nietzsche were alive today, his tweets would probably look very similar to Naval. Uh, and the internet is going to become a giant grid. Additionally, some of his blog posts are worthy of Pulitzer Prizes. He's able to connect the dots between politics, technology, religion, and social media in a way very few people can. Number two is Oriol Vinyals. In almost every single AI paper that matters a lot to me, Oriol is listed as one of the authors. Neural Machine Translation, which improved language translation immensely. Sequence to Sequence Learning, which brought chatbots to a whole new level. WaveNet, which was one of the top three advances in all of deep learning last year. A new standard in speech recognition. I was really excited when he was listed as one of the 35 innovators under 35 by MIT Technology Review. Clearly, Oriol is onto something. His ideas are pointing in the right direction for where we should be headed in terms of research and what are the avenues worth experimenting with. Number three is Andrew Trask. When I first started making videos about AI almost two years ago, I remembered stumbling on a blog post by Trask on how a neural network works. At the time, it was by far the best technical explanation I'd ever seen on how a neural network works. Thinking about gradient descent, like dropping a ball into a bowl. Now, that's an analogy that I can understand, as opposed to the dozens of other tutorials that forced me to think about it in terms of concepts I wasn't as familiar with. Trask later collaborated with me on the deep learning course I taught at Udacity, and there I got to know him a bit better. Later on, we met up in London where I interviewed him for the channel. We ended up getting along really well. Andrew gets it. He understands that data is the key to democratizing AI, and he's working on solving this problem full time right now as he builds the open mind community. He's one of the best technical writers alive right now. Number four, Balaji Srinivasan. I remember watching his talk on Exit at Y Combinator's startup school. Uber, Airbnb, Stripe, uh, Square, and of course, you know, the big one, Bitcoin, uh, are all things that threaten DC's power. It is not necessarily clear that the US government can ban something that it wants to ban anymore. It was a revolutionary idea that Silicon Valley should secede from the United States. And his reasoning relating the US Constitution to deprecated code, networks as nation states, and geographic communities to cloud communities fundamentally changed the way I view the world. Balaji's tweet storms are really insightful, and his new startup, Earn.com, is probably the most successful implementation in production of blockchain technology out there right now. And it's because he's been thinking about this stuff for so long. His list of accomplishments are pretty long, and overall, his view on where things are headed are unparalleled. Number five, Brian Johnson. Brian puts his money where his mouth is. He grew up in a modest family and earned his wealth over the years. He made huge amounts of money with his previous startup, Braintree, and decided to put 100 million of his own money to fund his current venture, Kernel. Kernel is dedicated to building a brain-computer interface. Essentially, they want to build a device that connects your brain to the internet. Solving AI and connecting our brains to the internet are two of the most important problems of our time. If we do that, we literally become limitless in our ability to do anything. 
So when people say to me, they think I'm crazy for what I'm trying to do, I would say I would be crazy not to. I had the opportunity to meet Brian at his office in LA a few weeks ago, and the conversations we had had me thinking for hours afterwards. He's trying to create an environment where discoveries happen. And the best discoveries tend to happen by accident, like that of DNA. Every day he wakes up excited to solve that problem, and it's really inspiring. Number six, Tristan Harris. I first heard Tristan Harris while listening to a podcast by a modern philosopher I really like named Sam Harris, and he blew me away. The thing is that any attention-based company, Snapchat, Netflix, um, uh, you know, uh, meditation apps, they, even, they, they all need more attention to be successful. He used to be a design ethicist at Google, but is now working full time on what he calls the time well spent movement. Basically, he sees how these big tech companies are creating algorithms that are optimizing for users' attention, since that's what fuels their ad revenue business model. And these algorithms have become runway AIs. Even the creators don't understand how they fully work. The Facebook newsfeed is an example of that, and this poses an existential threat. The content it shows us isn't necessarily good for us, it's just what grabs our attention. Tristan argues that instead of optimizing for attention, they should be optimizing for our time well spent, content that would benefit the users. As AI development accelerates, now more than ever, we need someone like Tristan helping guide AI so that it's built in a safe, beneficial way. Number seven, Tupac Shakur. Okay, I know this one is kind of random and I know Tupac rapped about violence and drugs, but what I find most inspiring about him is the amount of courage he had. Tupac wasn't afraid of anyone or anything. He spoke his truth during a time of real political and social turmoil in America. Very few people had the kind of charisma that Tupac had, and he was a man with a plan. You just wanted to follow him. Despite being constantly degraded by the media and the police, he fought for what he believed in, a brighter future for people in poverty. He never lost sight of who he was. Number eight, Juan Bennett. Juan was my roommate back in San Francisco for a bit, and I worked with him a bit on his project, the Interplanetary File System. IPFS and Filecoin are an implementation of Juan's greater vision for the web. When Juan talks about blockchains and distributed hash tables, he makes things seem not just possible, but simple to achieve that wouldn't have otherwise. We built IPFS, a protocol to remove those central points of failure, to improve the resilience of the internet and the web, and to give information a stronger sense of permanence. He has this thirst for knowledge that's really inspiring, and when he talks about the pioneers of the web, from Berners-Lee to Bram Cohen, he makes you realize that you too could come up with a great idea. If you build a great protocol, people will use it, and it'll become a key part of the web. IPFS is a beautiful system, and I could tell that he'd really done his distributed systems research when I read it. It's people like Juan that will move the web, and as a result, all of humanity forward. Number nine, Steve Jobs. Say what you want about Steve Jobs. Say that he was hard to work with, or he wasn't doing the real engineering behind Apple's products, but no one can say Steve Jobs wasn't an inspirational speaker. When Jobs spoke, People listened. And Apple's totally different, and Apple's place in it is totally different. And believe me, the products and the distribution strategy and the manufacturing are totally different, and we understand that. But values and core values, those things shouldn't change. He was able to weave a story into the fabric of the company he was creating, giving Apple something more to believe in than just building products. I've read his biography, and I've probably seen every single Steve Jobs video that exists at this point. He's truly one of a kind. Number 10 is Trent McConaughey. Kind of like Andrew Trask, Trent is one of the few people that understand both artificial intelligence and blockchain technology really well. Not only that, Trent understands the need to democratize access to data, and he's working on it full-time on Ocean Protocol. His blog posts about AI and blockchain 
show his deep understanding of how these technologies intertwine and the way they've raised money by putting a very small cap on investment shows that it's not about the money, it's about the mission. There are so many more people I could have mentioned here, shout out to Elon Musk, but we all know who he is. Is there someone that really inspires you? Post their name and why in the comment section. Please subscribe for more programming videos. And for now, I've got to get inspired. So thanks for watching.